This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Today I thought I would give you guys a look at the three Shogun Warriors I have. Um, this is Great Mazinga, or Great Majinga, and uh, he's my favorite. Um, I've got a pretty big Great Mazinga collection. Um, I could do an episode all on him, which I will probably get around to doing. But today I thought I would show off um, the three Shogun Warrior figures that, that all fall underneath the Shogun Warrior banner. So these toys are from Japan. They were a huge hit in Japan. And then they made their way over here um, in the 70s. And I can still remember the night I got this great Mazinga. Um, my parents went out to dinner. And uh, when they came back from dinner, they had a huge box. And I opened it up and it was this lovely beast. Um, I love Great Mazinga. He is the follow-up show to um, to uh, the original Mazinga. Mazinga. Um, he's created by Go Nagai. Same gentleman that um, invented Devil Man and um, Cutie Honey and lists loads and loads of characters. He's sort of like the Stan Lee of uh, Japan. Basically, all his characters are super cool and memorable and still growing strong. There's uh, Violence Jack. There's, uh, like I said, Devil Man. All the super robots that you know, like um, Mazinger, Great Mazinger, Getter Robo, um, damn near all of them were spawned from Go Nagai. And um, this is my favorite giant robot of his. Um, basically the entire giant robot um, boom and the entire um, genre was created by him. Um, he's very big on um, two heads sort of thing. Like a lot of his villains and a lot of his monsters, they've got two heads. Or they have a face in their chest and then a head on their shoulders. But he's, he's big into that. That's just like his little kick. And um, even with his... Like Great Mazinger or Mazinger, um, the pilot sits in the head. Um, this is the little uh, spaceship um, that's piloted, and he uh, the pilot controls the giant robot. Anyway, I'll, I'll probably give you guys more of a backstory on Go Nagai uh, when I do an entire... Mazinger episode, but for right now, this is my Great Mazinga, as he was called over here. Now, when this toy was sold in Japan, he came with two fists, and you could buy an accessory pack of weapons that um, would uh, go, you know, where his hand would be. Um, when they sold this in the States, he just came with that, he just came with this missile firing weapon hand. He didn't have another hand hand. So I had to track down another hand. And um, the way I went, the way I did it was I found um, a Guy King for sale that was all beat to shit. And I was able to take the hand off of Guy King and put it on my great Mazinger, and that's how I've got him with two hands now, um, the way he was over there in Japan. So I still have the swords that pop out, and he grabs them and cuts up monsters. Um, this was one of the first editions, which has this beautiful um, 
breast fire piece um the versions after this they just uh slapped a a red v sticker on his chest but this was one of the the very first ones they sold and so he came with this beautiful breast fire piece um attached it's not it's not a um sticker um now granted this is my original from the 70s so his little missile holding pieces on the sides of his legs are all torn to shit but you know it's like a 50 year old toy just the fact that i still have him and he's in his he is in as good a shape as he is is pretty freaking remarkable i love this damn toy great mazinga is the coolest well, I know you're saying to yourself, damn, John, you started off with a really cool one. What could top that? How about the king of the monsters himself? Gojira. <laughs> so, um, this is the Shogun Warriors Godzilla. And let me see. I can get him to spit his fire, but it's it's kind of a bitch. Um, my lever is broken off, but that happens to 99% of all of these that you find. It's rare to have one still intact. Um, it does it does still work though. There you go. It does still work. He does still fire his uh, rocket firing fist, but I'm I'm not gonna do it. It's gonna launch and hit my washing machine. But um, oh, there's some Thor hair stuck to Godzilla. Uh, he is beautiful. It's a really nice Godzilla. Um. Now, granted, the the Japanese version of this toy, the the one that this was based on, looks a lot meaner. They kind of softened him for American audiences. Um, his spikes are a little rounder. Um, and his face looks a little friendlier. But still... This is Godzilla unmistakably, and when I was a little kid, um, this toy was awesome. Uh, it's still awesome. I still love this thing. I was gonna buy the uh, Toy Nami remake. They um, they basically did a homage to this figure a couple years back, um, but now that that piece is almost damn near as much as this piece when you look for it online. So I'm cool with the original. I mean, uh, there gets to be a point where you just can't own everything. Try as you might. Um, but if I'm going to shell out 500 bucks for another Godzilla, uh, it's not going to be a homage piece. It would... It would be something harder to find or an, an original something. But that Toynami one is cool. Uh, but this one's cooler. Okay. So that is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. See his cute little yellow toes. <laughs> He's got yellow toes and yellow fingernails. Yellow teeth and yellow eyes. It's a cool piece. All right. <clears throat> Holy shit, John. Is that a Rodan? You goddamn right that's a Rodan. Or Radon, as he's known in Japan. <clears throat> this is an amazing piece. And I, I believe this is the hardest to find of the Shogun Warriors. I still have the lever. Um, 
he just has such a cool face. And as you can hear in the background, I'm playing the soundtrack from Ghidorah. And this is, this Rodan sort of looks the way that he did in the Ghidorah movie. Um, so what you can do with this, this toy is you put rubber bands around this, oops, can you guys see? You put rubber bands in here and then when you push down his feet snap close. Um, I would put rubber bands in there and then, you know, they would wear out and crack. So after the last time they cracked, I just said, out oh, of the hell with it. Um, but I mean, the mechanism would still work if I put rubber bands in it. <laughs> Such a cool freaking toy. This is the second Rodan I have owned. Um, the first Rodan I owned. Do you guys remember a store called Best Products? Um, the first Rodan I owned, I got from Best. And, uh, uh, anyway, that's not important to the story. But, um, when I reached that age when you hit junior high and you discover girls and... I don't know, there's a brief moment of insanity where you don't think you need all your toys anymore. Um, there was a kid that I knew that was in love with this piece, and every time he came over to my house, uh, he would just go gaga over this thing. And um, I gave it to him. I told him, you know what, you like that thing more than I do. It's yours, go ahead, you can have it. <laughs> fast forward probably four or five years after that and I was like what the fuck did I do <laughs> um so um I have a buddy another toy collector uh, my friend Chuck who operates a toy shop and a tattoo parlor sins of the flesh tattoos he tracked this beast down for me and um, I traded him a Guy King, you know, a full-sized Shogun Warrior Guy King, and a pretty, uh, a nice amount of money on top of it. And uh, I got me a Rodan again. So um, that's where you cue the music. I'm back in baby's arms. <laughs> so I I got Rodan back. And these are the three Shogun Warrior figures I own. I like them a lot. Um I do have a ginormous Godzilla collection. And I've got a really big Mazinger collection. Um, but I thought you guys would appreciate seeing uh, these three figures that fall underneath the Shogun Warrior banner. I am on the lookout. I, I want to get another Guy King. Um, and I want to get... Uh, they call him Dragoon. But it's Getter Robo Dragon. Uh, he's the red... Shogun Warrior, and um, I want to get those two. I'm always on the lookout for those. Anyway, um, here's one more toy because these are all kept in a giant box. I mean, they're all they're all nicely poly bagged, and then they're they're in this nice box. But another figure in that box is um, this is part of my beautiful Mazinger collection. Um, I believe Marmot put this out. This is a large vinyl Great Mazinga. And 
they came out in three editions, well, three that I know of. There is the the normal colored version, there is an all gold version, and then there was this black and white version. Well, try as I might, I could not find the normal version. So what I did was um, I bought the black and white version, which is this guy, and I painted uh, the reds and the blues and uh, the yellow in the eyes. And uh, he didn't turn out too bad. So he's just like a large vinyl uh, action figure. Um, soft vinyl. It's like a vinyl model, but already pre-built. I did have to, I did paint him though to, to get him to be the way I wanted to look. Anyway. <sighs> okay guys, so there's my um, little Shogun Warriors plus one collection. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at them. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see more of my Godzilla stuff or more of my Great Mazinga stuff. Or if you guys have any other um, requests, it'd be cool. I am um, I'm going to be making a ROM the Space Knight video pretty soon. And I was going to do um, maybe a couple videos on all of my Micronauts. Um, but yeah, um, let me know if you guys have any requests of stuff you'd like to see me um show off uh if you guys could could you hit like and subscribe that would be freaking awesome i really would appreciate that and as always guys thanks for stopping back by and checking out um all of my cool monsters and robots and the like all right take it easy guys see ya